Ballin' With. Episode of the Ballin' With podcast. You know I'm repping D.C., Washington Wizards all the way. NBA season just started. Preseason is on the way, guys. We got a lot more videos coming out, dropping this week. Uh, sorry for the delay. We got some NFL recap videos. Week 4 is dropping. Uh, we're going to do a Week 5 recap video later on tonight to record and drop later on this week as well. Uh, me and my man John is going to also talk about NBA that just came out this uh, Sunday with the Nets and Lakers and a couple other preseason games yesterday, a few more tonight. Um, we're definitely going to get more into the NBA season once the season starts, but we're definitely going to start with some you know, um, preseason predictions and all that stuff. Um, I'm ready. It's, it's been a crazy wave, but right now we're going to start on the NFL sports bets, guys. Uh, this is also another thing we're going to do as well. We're bringing back these sports bets with Ball and Whiff. I know you guys have been following, following me on the BWS betting Instagram platform. I was definitely knocking some numbers out. I was probably above 500, honestly, so we're definitely going to get right back into it and just make quick little videos uh, for each week. Um, NFL is a little bit more easier because they play like a few times out the week. NBA is going to be every night. So we're definitely going to be dropping videos more frequently as well. Uh, so just stay tuned, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, that will definitely boost our ratings and stuff. And we're trying to get um, more known, man. Um, it's me, Derek D. Rose, a.k.a. You can also call me D. Rose. Uh, I got both of my friends, Jonathan and John. Uh, Jonathan does the football. My other friend, John, will be basketball. But we're definitely all going to be on this drink together. Got a couple other friends I definitely want to bring on. My friend Rob and a couple other like just special guest people and whatnot. So um, that's enough to chat. We want to get right into the sports bets for week five. Um, I love sports bets, man. Just something I like to do. I like to look at the spreads. Um, this week coming up, this Thursday, Rams versus Seahawks is going to be a great game. Uh, Seahawks, they it's another division game. Seahawks just played the 49ers. They beat them. Rams just lost to the Cardinals. So this is a division game that's really a key matchup. Um, might be one of the better games of the week as I look and scroll through. Um, but don't be fooled by the Seahawks. I'm not going to lie. They are a great team. Rams, uh, I think they could win this game by minus two. That spread is a little light. So I would also go Rams minus two on this game. All right, guys. Um, we're going to hop uh, to the Sunday night and the Sunday morning games a little early. I don't know why they got them on here like that. But um, actually, this Bills and Chiefs game look like the you know the Sunday night matchup primetime game of the week. That's going to be a good game. Uh, that's going to be an AFC matchup to watch for in the playoffs as well. I would say Bills plus two and a half. Um, guys, I might do some teasers as well. I don't have it pulled up right now, but um, I can probably pull up a website as well to get into those. Um, but Bills plus two and a half, I would say. Rams minus two. Let's hop over to the Jets and Falcons game. I believe they're playing in London this week. Uh, shout out England and whatnot. Um, a lot of football fans over there. Uh, so that's why I believe the game is at 930 because the time zones is a little bit different. Um, they always get the weird teams, though. Like They always, last couple seasons, I've seen the Jaguars. There's really no good team. They always have one of the top five draft picks. I don't know why. Maybe they just give England or London the the lower um, you know threshold of teams. But Jets and Falcons, I think Atlanta should pull it off. They should have beat um, Washington this past week. So I do have Falcons winning by that spread. I don't know. Tough to say. Jets came off a good W. So um, that's going to be a good game to watch out. I do have Atlanta, maybe the spread or money line. Uh, Saints and Washington football team is definitely going to be a good game. I would think uh, Washington football team will be favored a little bit, but Saints are here. Um, so in that case, I'm a Washington fan, D.C. all the way. I'm going Washington uh, to cover. Um, if you can find anything, if it drops even lower to two, I would definitely go Washington. It's going to be an aired-out game. Saints is definitely going to throw the ball, but we can stop Jameis and get some pressure on him. I know we can cause some turnovers. That's what we need to win that game, so I think Washington should win that. Sliding over to Green Bay and Bengals, Cincinnati. Um, Joe Burrow versus Aaron Rodgers is going to be a good matchup. I'd like to see Jamar Chase uh, get some more touchdowns and um, continue his rookie legacy right now. But I do have Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams coming through and um, winning that game by three as well. Um, Detroit versus Minnesota. I think Detroit might pull off their first dub this week. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's going to be a close game. I don't think they're going to start off 0-5. Um Minnesota just had a bad week as well. They, I think Dalvin Cook is still down. And I think Jared Goff and the Lions are pretty – they're not slum-slum. I knew they wasn't going to be good, but um, they are probably a mid-tier team. They probably will still end up in the top 10. But I think Vikings will be right behind them at the 11th through 15th draft spot. So um, 
I think Vikings going to uh, fail the point spread. I do think Lions will cover the spread. I don't know if they're going to win the game, though. It's going to be a close one. Uh, Broncos and Steelers. I'm going to go Broncos again. I like their defense, man. Um, if, if they're getting to Ben Roethlisberger, they, they don't have any other quarterback, honestly. They got the receivers to play, but Ben is so old now. He's getting up there. He's more banged up than Tom Brady, which is crazy. So the Broncos defense will do that in to them, but it's all going to be if Teddy Bridgewater is going to come out and play. I don't know how long he was injured for. I know Drew Locke is the backup, so I think this is his time to shine, too, if he really wants a, a good win on his belt to, you know, look like a promising backup quarterback, because I think Teddy has that starting role locked down, so if he if he's out for a certain amount of time, Drew Locke is going to have to uh, step it up, so I do have Bengals this game, too, uh, plus the spread, guys, underdogs. Uh, Titans and Jags should be Titans all the way. They did just fumble the bag versus uh, New York Jets. Um, I do think Titans should win this game by the spread. I don't know. Titans games all been close this season. They had it like two overtimes already. Uh, they lost to the Jets. Um, I don't know. Titans are a little iffy right now. They got to start picking it up, though. I do tell you that. Um, Philadelphia Eagles versus Carolina. It's going to be a close game as well. Uh, more close than I think people will expect. I do think it's going to go over to 45, though. Um, Sam Darnold. Beginning the swing of the Panthers right now. I don't know if McCaffrey's back yet. I doubt it, but they're still probably going to slow him down to the season. But that Panthers defense is striking. They gave Cowboys a run for their money. Um, they just couldn't make those better plays at the end of the game, which uh, cost them. So I do think Carolina is the better team to win. Uh, but don't discourage the Eagles. They are some ballers with Jalen Hurts. Um, he's definitely uh, a it factor. So just watch out for that. I do have Panthers to win that game. Money line. Um, Miami versus Tampa Bay Bucks should be Tampa Bay all the way. I will go money line the spread. I'm not quite sure, um, and I believe they still have uh, Jacoby Brisket as the quarterback, which is not a bad quarterback. He still got to get in the ropes and the swing of things of that offense to uh, just start, you know, getting the hang of things as well. Uh, New England versus Texans. I do have New England winning this game. I believe. Uh, Tyrod Taylor is still out for the Texans, so the Texans still have their backup quarterback in. Uh, question marks around Deshaun Watson and stuff, what he's going to do and uh, whatnot. But we do have the uh, Patriots minus nine. I'm not quite sure for that spread, but I know Patriots will win this game. Another money line pick for me. Um, Browns and Chargers. Woo! It's going to be a good game right here. I'm not going to lie, man. I've been feeling Chargers lately, but I think this is the game they got to lose. Um... I'm I'm no I'm on the bandwagon with Herbert and they got the offense down packed. That defense is stout too. Um Washington almost came through with the victory. I forgot who they lost to. Um but uh the Chargers are definitely a team to watch out for. That's definitely gonna make a run in the playoffs. This is a team, this could be another playoff matchup to watch for as well. Um Browns had an iffy day versus Minnesota. They it was only 14 7. Charger defense is like that. Um but I think Charger defense will be handling uh, the Browns offense a lot better than the Browns defense handling the Chargers offense because the Chargers offense is so crazy. They got so many wide receivers that it's going to be hard for them to cover, and Herbert is no slum. He, I think Chargers will win this game, honestly. I might, I, I think I said Browns first, but I'm going Chargers. Uh, I'm on that bandwagon right now. Just me talking them up. They look good last night versus the Raiders. Um, so we're going to get right into it, guys. Uh, Raiders and Bears. Raiders and Bears. Chicago Bears. Justin Fields. Coming to the Raiders, Max Crosby on that D-line, man. They going to get to them. The Bears let up almost 9 or 11 sacks that first game field started, which should have been a nightmare for that kid, bro. Um, but the Raiders' defense is actually stout. I don't think the Bears' offense can hang with the Raiders' offense. So um, both are pretty good defense. Khalil Mack coming back, but um, he's going to want to prove something. But I think the Raiders are going to win this game as well. By that spread, maybe four points. I don't, I'm not quite sure, but Raiders money line. 49ers and Cards. It does look like Cards are pretty, uh, look like the best team in the division right now. They're, excuse me, one of the undefeated teams as well in that division and in the league. Over 50, I think it's possible. Um, but with the it factor, Trey Lance, I just picked him up on my fantasy. He he was looking pretty good. They doing the same playbook that they did with RG3. Uh, Kyle Shanahan and everything, what they did when he was in Washington, the little pistol set, got a uh, couple running backs, and you're doing, like, dual threat. You can't stop that, honestly, because you don't know what the quarterback's going to do. Keep the ball and run. Um, and this is going to be, a, a, I think, the better defensive team that comes out will be the 49ers, and I think they will win this game, um, honestly, and give the Cardinals another loss. I think the Rams are going to pick up, so I think it's going to be a good division this year to watch out for. Um, Dallas and the Giants. 
how how come they got a division game and Washington doesn't? I don't I don't see why. Um, I don't see it. But I do have Dallas winning this game easily. I don't see Giants pulling this off at all. I think Dallas can cover by that seven as well. And then for the Monday night uh, game, guys, definitely Baltimore versus Indianapolis. It's gonna be a good game, you know. Um, I think Baltimore used to be named the Colts or something like that. Um, but it's Ravenstown now. Lamar Jackson is his team. He's definitely on on that MVP tear. This is a primetime game he has to set it up for. He gets 100 rushing yards, probably over 200 passing yards and two touchdowns. Lamar Jackson will win this game, and I think they will win by this point spread, guys. That will clear up these bets right now, guys. Thank you for uh, tuning in, man. We're going to uh, make these videos a little bit shorter. I know you guys don't like that, but, uh, you know, NFL, I just got to give a little bit of hindsight of the team and what's going on and just a little uh, quick recap of the team and what are they what have they might have done last week versus uh this up and coming week so guys like comment and subscribe please we got more sports best for you guys coming out um uh, man just dm dm us your tickets as well on the bws betting uh instagram profile we put our postings on there as well we're gonna make uh you can comment on this on the uh in the youtube video as well like subscribe guys remember we're gonna be dropping uh nfl videos doing recaps and news and analysts and as well as the nba and base season's about to start on the 19th guys october 19th uh, so we're, we're a little bit behind on that. So we're just getting ready to start on the NBA. But I just wanted to get you guys in because we're starting the sports best as well, man. It's going to be crazy. Road to 1K. Please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And we'll see you uh, tonight when I do the uh, NFL recap, guys. See